please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. Using the curses.ascii module in Python with locale considerations. The curses.ascii module in Python is a useful tool for working with ASCII characters. It provides a collection of functions for character manipulation, classification, and conversion. When working with text in different locales, it's important to consider character encoding and decoding. In this tutorial, we will explore how to use the curses.ascii module while considering the locale settings of your system. We will also provide code examples to demonstrate its usage. Before you begin, make sure you have Python installed on your system. This tutorial assumes you are using Python 3.x. In Python, the locale module is used to handle localization and internationalization settings. The locale module allows you to set and retrieve information about the character encoding and formatting conventions specific to a particular location or language. This is important when working with text that may contain characters from various character sets. The curses.ascii module provides several functions for working with ASCII characters. Some of these functions include isalnum, isalpha, istajit, and many others. To ensure that these functions work correctly with characters from different locales, you should set the appropriate locale before using them. Here are the basic steps to work with curses.ascii and locale settings. Here's a code example that demonstrates how to use curses.ascii with locale considerations. In this example, we set the system's default locale using locale.setLocale, before using the curses.ascii functions. We then input a character and use the isalnum, and istajit, functions to determine if it's alphanumeric or a digit, taking into account the locale-specific character classification. By following these steps, you can ensure that your curses.ascii operations work correctly with characters from different locales, making your Python applications more robust and localization-friendly. ChatGPT